Well, Scott, here we are back on our annual trip to Voyager Houseboats of Crane Lake, Minnesota. Yeah, it's been a year. It's great to be back. Beautiful summer morning here. The thing we like about going on these houseboat trips, Scott, is our cabin's already up the lake with us. Yeah, well, when you bring your cabin up the lake, you're right there on the hot spot already. You don't have a, a long run to the fish. Yeah, a couple minutes here, put her on plane, and we'll be doing some fishing. Let's hit her, see what we can get. All right. You know, this midsummer pattern, you're gonna find them on these little islands and points. And this is, you know, Voyager's National Park. This is a spectacular setting to go fishing in. And pretty easy fishing, you know, fishing shallow a lot, catching bass and walleyes. And that's the result right there. A little skitter walk and a decent bass. Sitting right on the edge of this island here, right on this point. We'll talk a little bit about some of the ways we're catching them here as we move forward, but that's kind of what we're after to start out our trip here. Decent little guy. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a nice bass. He must have been in eight inches of water. Wow, he was way, 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 up way, way, the... way up there. It's what I love about smallies, Scott. They always kind of, they let you know what they like. One of the nice things about this area is there's so many quality bass. Crane Lake here that you usually don't have to look too hard to eventually find some biting fish. That's a nice one there. I was just throwing a soft plastic stick bait and uh, I like rigging it text-posed which is Texas rigged. The hook's semi-buried, but we come through a little area here where there's actually a pretty thick cabbage, and that's what those fish are relating to, it seems like, this morning. And uh, you can take that hook and just bury it just a little bit in the plastic and work it through those weeds without getting hung up. And uh, that's what that one bit. Oh, good one on a top water. You know, Scott and I are concentrating on two primary areas, shallow shorelines where you get a lot of gravel and rubble, boulders, some main lake points. You know, we're, we're getting a few on top water this morning, but they're not really, they're not really hitting the bait hard, which is telling us that they're not in super aggressive feeding mode yet. But this is what you're capable of catching up here when you throw top water lures, or little small crankbaits will catch them too. Jerk baits, of course. But what we're learning about them this morning is they're not super aggressive yet. You know, we get about 72 degree water temperature. That tells us they should be in that summer pattern, but we're getting some cold nights and typically afternoons will work better. Pretty fish. This is a great multi-species fishery too, you know. If you like fish and bass, obviously it's a world-class destination, but also really tremendous walleye fishing here too. You can catch them a variety of ways, you know. Summertime when they come up shallow to feed, when you're bass fishing, you'll catch them throwing jerk baits. Certainly a jig and a minnow or a jig and a leech. Uh, fishing either along the shorelines or on the reefs, you can put a lot of walleyes in the boat too and bring them back to the houseboat and have them for a fish fry at night. It's awesome. Voyager Lodge and Houseboats is a great operation to choose for a family trip or a group of fishermen to explore Voyager's National Park. 34 boats in the fleet to choose from, from 36 to 62 feet with varying levels of amenities. You can get one of the bigger boats, hot tubs on the roof, great for a group of 10 to 12 people. All the boats have fully equipped kitchens, all the cookware and utensils, all you do is bring your groceries and your beverages and you're all set. Gas grills on the decks, water slides. It's just like bringing your cabin up the lake with you here to explore Voyager's National Park. Jim and Gretchen Jansen and their staff will take great care of you. If you're looking to plan a trip in northern Minnesota on a houseboat vacation, give them a call and get more information on their website, houseboatvacation.com. Fish our topwater lures with a seven foot bay caster. I got 20 pound Suffolk 832 braid on and just knotted to a 17 pound floral leader and I use that heavier line and the braid on the top water it's, you can make really long casts you get really good hook sets at distance I prefer a little less stretch this fish actually came out of that right in the grass I put the cast and this is another typical summer pattern you know fishing these islands and humps and there's endless spots you can go to and if you have your own boat you certainly bring it and tow it with your houseboat otherwise they've got skiffs for rent it's pretty nice boats with electronics on them and bigger horsepower motors so you don't have to have your own fishing boat to enjoy the great fishing up here when you're on a Voyager houseboat trip. Scott and I love throwing topwaters for smallmouth up here in Crane Lake. It's an exciting way to fish, but it also catches a lot of fish. This morning we're seeing them kind of nipping at the topwater lure that's telling us they're not really aggressive. If they were blowing it up coming out of the water for it, we throw aggressive lures, walking baits like a skitter walk, subtle bait like a skitter prop or a cupped 
top water lure that gives a little splash like an X-Wrap pop, it's gonna catch fish that are kind of more on a subtle strike on that top water. So pay attention to how they're eating that top water lure. Fish more slowly and with a subtler lure if they're not really hitting it hard. This is what houseboating in Voyagers National Park is all about. Spectacular sunsets, great fishing, family and friends. If you'd like to start making your own memories up here in northern Minnesota, Voyager Lodge and Houseboats is a great destination. Crane Lake, Minnesota, 1-800-88-BOATS. Or you can go to the website to find the houseboat that's perfect for your size group. Start planning your trip up here as well. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.